Actress Anne Gwynn was a remarkable figure in the entertainment world, leaving a strong impression on audiences of her time. Her unique talent and charm made her stand out among other actors. She was known for her ability to play different roles convincingly and deeply, which made her very popular. But what really makes her special is not just her acting skill, but also how she influenced the film industry for a long time. People still celebrate her work today. Share your favorite memory or experience of this classic actor below. And keep watching this video for interesting facts about her. In classic Hollywood cinema, Anne Gwynn stands out as a captivating figure. She left a lasting impression on the silver screen during her time. Gwynn's talent and charisma made her a notable presence among the celebrated actors of her era. Her significance lies in the way she brought characters to life, captivating audiences with her performances. Gwynn's on-screen presence drew viewers into the stories she portrayed. Through her roles, she showed versatility as an actress, smoothly transitioning between genres and characters. Gwynn made a notable impact on the horror genre, particularly in the 1940s, her roles in films like House of Frankenstein and Black Friday established her as a leading lady of horror. Her ability to convey fear and vulnerability made her stand out in this genre, earning her a dedicated fan base. Beyond horror, Gwen's talent extended to various genres, including comedy and drama. Her versatility allowed her to tackle a wide range of roles with ease, showcasing her adaptability and skill. Overall, Anne Gwen's impact on the film industry is undeniable. Her talent, versatility, and memorable performances have secured her a place in cinematic history. As we celebrate her contributions, we acknowledge the lasting influence she has left behind, inspiring generations of actors and actresses to come. An actress known for her impressive roles in horror and science fiction films, Anne Gwynn gained attention not just for her talent but also for her timeless beauty. A notable mention of her successful career can be found in it came from Horrorwood interviews with moviemakers in the SF and Horror Tradition by Tom Weaver, published in 1996. This book explores the film industry, giving insights into the experiences of notable figures like her. During World War II, she was among the top pinups, along with famous names like Dorothy Lou Moore, Anne Sheridan, Maureen O'Hara, and Alexis Smith. Life magazine, in its February 15, 1943 issue, featured her as one of the era's most admired symbols of beauty and grace. In her personal life, she formed connections with Hollywood's elite, including her relationship with Robert Pine. This connection later made her the beloved mother-in-law of the actor. Her influence in the entertainment industry goes beyond the silver screen, leaving a mark that continues to inspire artists and fans over the years. Her legacy, recorded in cinematic history, still captures audiences and earns admiration for her unique contributions. This story, a tribute to her lasting influence and timeless charm, stands as a record of the incredible journey of Anne Gwynn. In Weird Woman, Paula Reed's character, portrayed by Anne Gwynn, brought a special charm to the screen. Evelyn Anchors, a close friend of Gwynn's, sometimes found it hard to keep a serious face when her scenes required her to act cold or hostile towards her friend. Their strong bond off screen made it tough for them to hold back their laughter during filming, adding a sweet behind the scenes dynamic to the production. Gwynn became very popular during her time as the top pinup girl for two years in Yank Magazine, where her bright smile and engaging presence boosted the morale of many World War II soldiers. Later, in 1947, she appeared in the first season of Public Prosecutor, acting alongside John Howard and Walter Sand. Throughout her career, Gwen not only gave memorable performances, but also formed lasting friendships that made a big impression on both audiences and colleagues. Her impact is still celebrated in Hollywood history. This story, filled with stories and achievements, shows her talent and lasting influence. Actress Anne Gwynn faced challenges with addiction and substance abuse alongside other life struggles. Her journey, like many others, was marked by battles against these issues. Despite her talent and success in acting, she grappled with personal demons that threatened to overshadow her achievements. The pressures of fame and the demanding nature of the entertainment industry often contribute to such struggles. Anne's story serves as a reminder that even those in the spotlight are not immune to addiction's trials. Behind the glamour of Hollywood, there are real people facing real challenges. For Anne, substance abuse became a way to cope, a method to numb the pain and stress of her career. However, what might have started as a means of escape soon became a full-blown problem, consuming her life and affecting her work. 
Despite these challenges, Anne's story is not about defeat, but resilience. She sought help, acknowledging her issues, and taking steps towards recovery. It was a tough journey, marked by setbacks, but through perseverance, she found a path to healing. Anne's struggles remind us of the importance of seeking support and not facing such battles alone. Addiction can affect anyone, regardless of their background or status. It's a reminder that behind fame, there are often hidden struggles that require compassion and understanding. In the end, Anne's story is one of hope and redemption. She confronted her demons, refusing to let them define her. Though the road to recovery was challenging, it ultimately led her to healing and renewal. In Bobby Copeland's Johnny Mac Brown's Saddle Gals Anne Gwynn, known not only for her beauty, but also as a former Miss San Antonio, gained recognition. Quinn and Tarantino, a big fan, paid tribute to her in Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. In the movie, a scene from her 1958 film Teenage Monster appears on a TV watched by Bruce Dern's character and members of the Manson family. In Teenage Monster, she played a mother trying to stop her mutant son from causing trouble. Tarantino picked this scene to show his appreciation for Gwyn's work. Her role as Miss San Antonio and her appearance in Tarantino's homage show her lasting influence on popular culture. Gwyn's role in Johnny Mac Brown's Saddle Gals highlights her importance in entertainment. Despite being a beauty queen, her movie accomplishments are what stand out with Tarantino's recognition proving her lasting influence. In conclusion, Anne Gwyn's part in the book and Tarantino's tribute confirm her place in Hollywood history. Her portrayal of characters, including the memorable scene in Teenage Monster, continues to be celebrated by audiences and filmmakers alike. Anne Gwynn starred as Sonya in Flash Gordon Conquers the Universe, appearing in chapters 2 and 6 through 12. Despite Donald Curtis's presence throughout all 12 chapters, he received no billing due to a last-minute decision to replace him with the rising starlet in the opening credits. Her performance garnered attention, leading to her prominent billing. After her passing, her body was cremated, and her ashes were scattered on the grounds of the motion picture and television country house and hospital, her final resting place. She had English, French, and Welsh ancestry, reflecting her diverse background. Gwyn's heritage added depth to her roles, enriching her performances with a unique cultural perspective. Her talent and versatility captivated audiences, establishing her as a significant figure in Hollywood. Gwyn's work in the film industry continues to be celebrated and remembered fondly by fans and colleagues alike. This brief glimpse into her life and career speaks volumes about her lasting influence on cinema. Her journey is a reminder of the power of storytelling and the art of performance in entertainment. Gwyn's impact lives on through her timeless performances and the memories she left behind. Actress Anne Gwynn, known for her work in movies and TV shows, faced a health challenge in the early 1990s when she had her first stroke. This event was a big moment in her life. Recognized for her roles in classic films and television, she dealt with the difficulties of having a stroke. Despite this setback, she showed strength and kept going in the entertainment world. Her career lasted for many years and showed off her acting skills. Gwynn played various roles that audiences loved. She was dedicated to her work, and her performances showed how much she loved acting. Her journey had its tough times, but she handled them with grace. Gwen's strength during a hard time added another layer to her life story. It shows how strong she was, both on and off the screen. To sum up, Anne Gwen's career and life were defined by her enduring spirit, leaving a lasting impression in entertainment. Her work continues to be loved, and her story is inspiring.